Yeah, no, um, yeah, I caught the judge through everything out. And, uh, but I didn't need to go into the court, um, because it was all over by the time I was going to go in. Um, but the boys were there. They, uh, their cases got thrown out and they're a little bit bewildered that I didn't get called up. I said, no, it was all over before I got here. Um, I had told the barrister that they, the police had not enough evidence uh, to stack up against what I had. And so that was the outcome was the police had not enough insufficient evidence and threw the, threw the whole lot out. And then he texted me before I got there and because uh, I drove and I left my car on the waterfront and walked all the way up. Um, and then he said, because I got there late, you see, and um, but the boy said, your name got called out. I said, yeah, that's right, but my barrister texted me and said, my court hearing is next week. And then, because I, I think he meant to split them off, split away from me. They're cunning, they're cunning, Kingy, because it lo certainly looks like now it was bigger case against the police than the police making a complaint against us because of the corruption of the birth certificate, you see. I got them on the birth certificate and they don't, they don't want to play that game. And, and I think that was a bit of that and the company that I'd registered in London, just in time, puts the asset on them because now we use that company over there to sting them over here in the jurisdiction of British jurisdiction now. And so they won't entertain that company creditor over them. That's what I'm going to do with the barrister now. Because I said to him, and then he texted me and said, oh, uh, your case is all over. I said, what does that mean? Does that mean the end of me and you? And he said, yeah. I said, no, I haven't finished yet. It's that woman, I got my subpoena, was had to get her into court to tell her who's this other John Wano guy that I countersigned. And that other guy signed somebody by the name of John Wano. I want that following court with that woman. And those, it shows now that those documents were crooked when she came in here and arrested me because the judge has thrown it out. You see, the, the whole lot in the whole world is affected by that, can you? Because it's a police state that made those those documents, not the Bar Association. No, they were there. They said, oh, we heard your name. I said, yeah, that's all right. Don't worry about it. I said, it's a different case. You fellas are not doing what I'm doing corporate. I'm doing, the, I'm doing a corporate trust law. The same as what they are doing in their own law, you fellas are doing native. You can't... Eh? What? For breaking an entry in the Cook Street, you know, when they went in there and yanked those people out of the office? So it's like assault and, and taking over a company and, and like, like hijacking it. You know? I didn't go in and do it, but I was the one that put them on a contract to go and do it. So they hooked me in for the same offence, you see? So they got off that. See, with all that manhandling and stuff, they got off. You see? Because I had contracted them under the corporate system to go and take that property. I, I'm going to take it now. I'll take it, but I'll do it through the corporate. You see? Because it's the documents that I'm doing online. I'm doing a court case online and doing it by by mass evidence. Uh, and so the judge, uh, he's, he's, he's saving his back because he, he, what happened was when I signed the bail bond to release me from prison, my argument was that the documents were crooked when they came in my house. You see, to arrest me, 12 police came in here. So someone's paying all those 12 police from my birth certificate with that other person that countersigned to their trust to pay them okay. for all those all the things they did to me and I haven't been paid yet, Kingy. <laughs> you see? I've, I've been doing all the work to bring them to justice and then the, the, they just wipe it out like that and left me, left me grumbling with the most damage. Yeah, because they had no right to come in here and arrest me with those crooked papers. She actually forged them 
and I had to prove that she forged them. Those other guys don't know how to do that. That you have to challenge the documents, not what they did to you, right? So those boys were saying what they did to them, and not so much about the land, but what they did to them. And they're in their tikanga law, well, you, you don't get paid out on the tikanga law, only on the corporate law. So I'm going them for the corporate side of breaking the corporate law by making the company corporate in Britain, not here. You see? So when that company out in Moai Powerhouse Group Limited was registered, I got the registration back, put it online, and I said, right, this company is the creditor now, and it'll, 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 it'll deck them one by one now. You see? So that's what I do with us now, Kingy. The next stage from this, from what happens now is my barrister is going to ring me up because he's still getting paid from me and my birth certificate. Yes, you see, that's where the legal aid comes from. They take it out of a prisoner, right? Everybody in the prison, they're using that money to, to help themselves in it. And it's a lot of money, Kingy. It's about 250000 they hooked out of this. To pay the judges, five judges, twelve policemen, uh, and, and and lawyers, barristers, they paid themselves out of my birth certificate, and they paid themselves out of the other birth certificates for those other guys. You see, so so that's how that works. But I want to get an audit on that account because I countersigned it, Kingy, to get me released. That I said to I said to my barrister, that's blackmail. And I'm making this case like an online case, trial by media, right? And people are looking at it, they're waiting for answers. And I said to my barrister today, I haven't finished yet. I said, you text me to come, my case is next week. So, and then he said to me, no, you're, you're being cleared. I said, no, no, I haven't finished yet. You said my case is next week. So I want, to, I want you to get that policewoman in there from Solomon. And that other people, four of them, John Wanoas, I want those four John Wanoas in the court. If they don't turn up, I'm taking that land. Because, because you, you fellows uh, are in it all together, and that woman won't turn up in court. She didn't come to court today when, when the judge subpoenaed her. So I'm holding them to their subpoena. Yeah, so uh, I have every right to call the shots on a we are hearing, if they're not there, we win. That argument, you see? As the police using that, it's that money inheritance that I'm after the whole bloody lot back. Yeah, yeah uh, as being, they're helping to pay themselves from their kingy. And if I can do it, that's, that'll do for everybody. Okay. But uh, from that, I'm, I've got my thing, uh, my in the Gisborne Herald today, tomorrow for tomorrow for the Hui down at Port Wawanui. And so he's sorting that land out and the Hui there, right? To connect up with you at Waitangi to, to Britain, to that company, to that company in Britain. So that we can I'm gonna set up to get the land back, Tingy. This is the way to do it. Now that we got past the police. We have no problem now with that sort of scenario. The land is still there to get um, back. Huh? No. Yeah, so uh, just just to keep you in touch with what's happening. Um, and, and so that's our latest, apart from getting the shares going now uh, for that company, I'll just have to create some finance for us. Okay? Can you? Oh, gone off. Hello? Oh, his phone went off. Ah, oh, that's King. That's the chief. Uh, I left him a message that we uh, we uh, had some success today in the court, and so uh, he's over the moon because we've got a ongoing we've got an ongoing um, trail of events happening here. Going. I like my flag running all the time. Ngapui, that's for Kingi's flag at Waitangi. Uh, I always fly this flag religiously every day.
for Ngāpui, um, Hapu, up in Bev Islands, uh, straight to Britain. That's significant for this hat and the eight point star on that flag and the four corners of the earth on that flag. And here, the eight point star here as the New World Order. That's who I am. Uh, Promoting from our land block on heading A12 at the east coast. So you can see online uh, tomorrow, the Gisborne Herald, there will be an ad there for um, the Hui at Te Horo Marae uh, on Saturday, this Saturday, at 10 o'clock. Uh, for those who are coming, the community is quite welcome to come between 10 and 12. I'm going to outline the tidal turbine project, Moai tidal turbine project, and also what's happening to the land after today's court hearing that we had in Auckland District Court um, that was thrown out, a police case where I was involved with Cook Street land. And that's just the beginning of getting our land back from the thugs. I call them thugs because they're trying to get away with this one. And I wait for my barrister to, to call me uh, to tell me what is he going to do about my subpoena against Natalie Flower D. Brown, CIB detective. You see, they're playing around with me and I'm forcing a court hearing from what happened today that those documents that she brought into my house, I've just told Kingy, the chief at Waitangi, that they were defective. Illegal, illegitimate, fraudulent, and corrupted documents of the New Zealand police that the police themselves dropped the case because of insufficient evidence. There's more evidence on Facebook on this case. It's a long standing case, including 2005 and 2015 when Natalie Flower Du Brown got her head in it. They hooked a lot of money out of my birth certificate. This is the offence, people. Your birth certificate is worth a lot of money. That's why I'm bringing it up next week. I've got another case now that this one's cleared. It's cleared me of forced entry onto Cook Street and I dare say trespass because this, these documents are tied in with covering up the fraud on that land block. I'm coming after that land block, you landowners. James Pierce Brown and Sam Brent Roundtree, you are crooked, cheaters, and fraudulent corruptors of the law with the police and the convincing lawyers. You're going into court in High Court of Admiralty in London. These courts are not up to scratch. I've got a company now called Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited registered in the company's house in London under UK jurisdiction over you and there's lands. Okay, that's our partner, that's our business partner under this flag and the jurisdiction of Navy military. So you're going to wear the bill, they're going to have to recover it because I'm writing the orders here under this eight point star King William IV seal of Westminster and jurisdiction of Admiralty, Court Martial Law, and also Lens Levy Debtor Instruments, Pound Note. Okay, so you get all of that on your head from today. Now that I'm cleared of all charges put up against me on that land block, 77 Cook Street. You're not out of the woods yet. We're going to knock you out one by one. That's what the Pope Francis said. Libel you one at a time with your real name, not this fictitious up and down, up and down capital letters mixed up with lowercase, to hook money out of me. Where's the money, you thieves? I'm pointing to you, Natalie Flower Dew Brown and the police. Where is that money from my birth certificate? Okay, where is it? I signed it as a blackmail Natalie Flower Drew Brown blackmailed me here in my house with those fraud documents to hook money out of my account 
of inheritance money stacked up somewhere. It would have cost 250000 just for the 12 people, police, to come here with their cars and their petrol and their cars and their time and all their uh, police officers and all the prison staff manhandling me around. You're going to pay for that too. You're not going to get away with mistreating me and taking my pills away. Where's my shirt? Where's my evidence back that you, you were using against me? You see, I'm holding you to that shirt of King William's regalia on it, my authority, high authority of the New World Order that you stole from me, Natalie Fraudio Brown. I want you in the court for stealing my property to use as evidence against me. Now you've got no evidence. You've got lack of evidence in the court hearing today. You're not there. You cunning Pakehas, white people, are no good. You are no good on these lands. I would love to boot you as far as I can, biff you with my chief kingy and all the rest of the Maoris and those marshals in court today. Right? They want a chip out of you too for compensation for what you did to them to bring all those police and humiliate us in front of everybody here in this hotel place and you trip trapping through here just like wigwams them thugs, pirates push your way right through here into my house so that's your image police in New Zealand I'm saying on this video I'm appalled as much as a lot of people around the world watching this video that you picked on me one of the chiefs in this country of native origin surnames that are trying to save this place from you thieves taking it and taking all the resources out of here for somewhere else for you elite people are going to get knocked out one by one if the ISIS don't get to you first the natives will come after you and the people who are pissed off with you ordinary people Chinese Indians, Maoris Fijians, Thaisians, Australians, Aborigines, it could be anybody. All the same treatment from you, Queen Elizabeth. You should be hung when I get to England before somebody else does it. The Moai and King William have got the laws inside this flag to hang you for putting us through a lot of trouble with your corporate thugs in the court today. Okay? It's just as well I didn't go into court because I would have ended the whole thing as a King's Bench Court judge and sheriff on top of that with this badge. I took my hat today to court to use it on you. Right? I'll get it in writing from Britain with that other company that's registered there now with the shares and that's 12.5 billion worth of tidal energy project going here on our land blocks at the East Coast who no one's going to stop it here. That's our law. Jurisdiction in the sea. You've got no jurisdiction, John Key. You've got no evidence to support your title against this title and this title. The Manukau land title in Auckland. You have got no title to rub two stones together. That's what you're up against. I can take you into court one by one. I'm taking you into court, John Key, in the High Court in London. Your name's on the first stop going there. The two landowners on Cook Street, you're going to. Locked up. Locked up. That's all I can say about that. <coughs> anyway, on a good note, Moira, uh, my friend in Rotorua, I've just been telling her that I'll be going down past her place next week in Rotorua, on the way to the East Coast, drive down uh, to my hui with the um, our families in Port Awanui and there we will <coughs> put a presentation on for the um, land itself, the seabed for sure and where we propose to go in all of that lot with this flag. I'm taking this flag to tell them where the authority is. I'm hoping that Sue Nakura will come with Desmond from Gisborne, my nephew, 
<coughs> to talk at the hui and we have uh, 10 staff till midday at the Horomarae that's on the end of the road going to the beach um, about 13 kilometres east of uh, Ruatori uh, past the radio station and carry on on Waiamatatini Road then climb over the hill to get there okay so we'll have uh, a lunch koha you bring some koha and put it in the box in front on on my table I'm the chairman that's how I do it I just have embarrassment uh, if the marae wants to have a pulpity that's okay but um, uh, we'll just play this one by ear um, because um, I have Desmond he can do his his thing um, at, at the meeting for a meeting of landowners um, was really a meeting for the Heringa A12, the Heringa A11 and Heringa A10 blocks uh, the landowners for them to come and so this ad will be in the Gisborne Herald uh, tomorrow, Tuesday and Thursday and Friday uh, we'll have a picture there of the turbines and the um, um, hitting a, a 11 block where the hill's fallen into the sea we're hoping to uh, make some use out of that resource for the tidal turbine bridge on the Ranfilly Bank. Uh, it's a good project and um, very solid. It, it will be going under the jurisdiction of Britain, direct straight there, through Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, and our chief, Kingi, was on the radio, uh, was on the telephone to me a minute ago. Um, and so I'm glad he rang me. I just left him a, a success message that we got past this stage in the court today. Uh, and to those uh, marshals, Congratulations to you to um, get the case um, thrown out today. It, I think it would have been your efforts and my efforts, uh, whatever. It came out with a positive result. That's all I care about. You got off. But I'm not finished with it yet. I told you guys that I still got my case next week, even though my barrister said it's all over for me. It's not. I'm not finished with the police yet. I still got some unresolved business with my birth certificate, stolen identity, and theft of money, inheritance that belongs to me. I want that back. And I want them locked up. And I want that land block <coughs> back. I'm going to get it back through the British military, will take it off them to pay for all the trouble that you people are keeping that money for yourselves and nothing for me. I find that repugnant and abhorrent and disgusting to help yourself to my inheritance money and have nothing for me and all the trouble I'm going through and <coughs> humiliation that you've humiliated me in front of a lot of people. And those people on the land block, you're going to go for it, escape. You girls in the office there, I warned you, don't get mixed up as a third party between me and the landowners. You're on the rocks, all of you in there. And those other ones who poked their nose in from that other business next door. It was none of your business, none of your business to come and tell me what to do on that land. That's not your land. I'm going to boot you out, the whole lot of you out. Okay, watch me. Watch me. You've got your law, I got mine. Mine is British. This flag, that's my law. Your law is corrupted as much as you are corrupted to hell. Okay, you're hell on these lands. This is Monaco land that you're buggering around with, defrauding me and my chiefs. Okay, so that's that. I just checked my my thing was over 100 today at the court. Oh, well, it was it. 74, see? Climbed up just because I'm talking about you mugheads. All of you brockheads on Cook Street. Just made my Fitbit go up to 74. It usually should be 55. Just shows. It went over 100 today in the court, just standing there, looking at what's behind the door. Dark! 
darkness and thuggery going on in there, the clubhouse. I didn't want to step in there. I didn't have to step in there. I wrote it all out before I went there on Facebook and I put it on a video. What I was going to do, sit there and sing a song outside and watch what goes on inside behind those doors. And it turned out exactly how I wanted it. Shut down. Okay, so that's the end of that. Thank you, uh, Daryl Payne in uh, California, uh, and your good words of good encouragement, um, and Moira as well. But um, now that was good of you to do that. You know what to do. <coughs> um, now we're just progressing with the shares, and the uh, Constitution is going to take me a lot of writing. I've got somebody in Australia waiting, and somebody in Trump House waiting, but I won't get to that till I get time uh, to settle down to that from one to the other. I'm going to do the meeting down the east coast on the land block, 45 hectare block that I'm um, hoping to secure. Oh, here's somebody. Hello? Yes, it is. Okay, Tom, put them on, please. <clears throat> this is Tom, Tomothy Reed. Okay, thanks, Joy. Hello, Tom. All right, good, good. Threw it out. They threw it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they threw it out. They had insufficient evidence. And it's what I wrote this morning and sent it to my barrister to, to shut the whole lot down because they don't have enough evidence against the evidence I have. Yeah, so it's all squashed, but I'm still not finished with them. He said, well, that, that's it. So I put it on Facebook. I made a video and put it on Facebook. <clears throat> and and just explaining what happened before I went there this morning I made a video then after I made a video I didn't even have to go in court it was all over by the time I got there the boys went up they, they went onto the stand but they, they they were wondering how come I didn't get put on the stand they heard my name but I said no nah, don't worry about it um, yeah and uh, because I got there late and but my barrister had texted me and said don't worry your, 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 your court hearing is next week. And then all of a sudden he comes out and tells me, no, it's all over, you're cleared, everything's gone. And then he texts me to say that I'm, I'm cleared with all the other ones of going in on Cook Street. So now I'm going to make preparations to go and get it and uh, take that woman, I've still got my subpoena to get her here, I want my birth certificate back and all that money they helped themselves to. You see? So... Yeah, they did. I didn't know they were going there today, but they were there. But they had gone on the stand and not me. No, she didn't. She didn't turn up. I said to my barrister, if she's not there, and those other four John Wanors are not there, then squash the whole case. And that's what happened. See, you had to do it in a corporate sense, not in a native sense. The boys were going there uh, 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 under their own tikanga law. But then they won't get paid, you see. They won't pay them acting in their own law. Well, they're right. All their documents stack up, but I think at the end of the day, it was that they had not enough evidence against what we might have had altogether. But I, I, I think it's what I, what I gave my barrister. They're going on what a barrister says, not what the, those guys are saying. You see? So that... that leaves us free now and I can I can relieve myself of that focus on getting Cook Street back I, I'm going to do the Hui this Saturday as you uh, it'll be in the Herald tomorrow uh, Gisborne Herald tomorrow and uh, Thursday and Friday <coughs> yeah 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 so he's he's let me have the Marae and um, um, What's her name uh, gave me the 
yeah, Lillian uh, Baldwin um, allowed me to go there, and Rogers okayed me to 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 go ahead with the projects. Roger Hadwell. So I'm going to call him to see him on Friday, and then I go straight to the Hui. I uh, stay in Rotoria. I might go and stay at your place. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. Um, I'm going down on drive down. And you're going to go to the Hui or not? Saturday, 10 o'clock. No, 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 okay. That's all right. Oh, okay. That's all right. That's all right. No problem. <coughs> That's all right. Um, it's just to let them know what I'm doing over there. And, and because I want to hurry up and get that land. Uh, because there's someone else might want it as well, you see. Uh, so I'm not the only one. So I just wanted to go there and tell them what I wanted to do with it. Uh, if not, I'll be going back to the East Cape or to, you, to where you are, one of them. But that one is better for that clay. That's all that was good, and that's good, that stuff for that. But no, we had some success today, um, uh, Tom. We, we, got, we all got off the case. It's got, it's got free now, so um, uh, uh, then we'll, we can just go and carry on with our thing. Uh, and Kingy just got off the phone too, so he's happy. Um, yeah, so I'm working with him up there, but um, that, that's where we are. If I get a bit of time, I'll come and see you, but uh, otherwise... Oh, you'll be there all weekend, eh, in Gisborne? Yeah, I'll be in Gisborne. Uh, yeah. uh, well, I'll be coming straight back because I've got a lot to do to get the shares going and everything now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I want to get back because I've got a lot to do now. The investors are waiting for me to, um, to, to the big investors to do the whole investment thing to get the, the put here. I'm not going to ha hang around waiting for Cook Street just yet. But, um, but if I can get my birth certificate back, I'll be happy. It'll be worth a bit. Mm. But that's where we are, Tom. That's, that's how things are. Yeah. Otherwise, well, just go and have a look online, you'll see it all there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, that's Tom, Tamati Reed, at Rangitukia. You see, I've got my chiefs down there, but he can't come to the meeting on Saturday. That's fine. Uh, more so for the people in Ruatoria and um, Tikapa and, and around those areas. Uh, to the land blocks at Port Awanui. Uh, so uh, really, this little clip was to catch Kingy. I, I went and touched it on when, when he rang to get a bit of him and uh, Ngāpui people watching this video up there. This is all about you and your flag. I'm making it work for you in making people accountable, the police and everybody accountable to this flag. We already had Paul Tipene in Waitangi Marae on the 15th of April 2016 this year with Kingi, witnessed what I did inside there to open the way for this flag to start the business, which we have already now, Marae Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited Company in London. Company's house is now under this flag out of the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. That's court now because we've declared it open for business in our own corporate commercial trading bank jurisdiction right through the well. This flag has now been legalized with the pound note inside that marae as a debtor levy instrument. I keep telling that to your people and to King E Chief, that Ngāpui understand this. This is your contract that I am using to make it work for you and for everyone through the world. Take note, your chiefs will be humming a tune now that we're using it for what it was supposed to be used for. Trade, commerce, and banking. Commerce, right through the world. Okay, it's safe 
in the hands of a king. We've got our king already in England, King Ernest Augustus V, and his son, King Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, in waiting. Okay? So, that's the way I see it. And for you people watching these videos, I hope you can take umbrage to them for your own use as sovereign people or free man people or native of the land is someone that can say I've been here for a long time or I just got here or I want to come here or I'm just about to leave because I'm going to get booted out or as long as you've been here the longest you have a bit more sovereign status than someone who just got off the plane with a lot of money it's not going to make any difference to us he's got all his money that's commerce in here if he mischievous we take it off okay that's what's happening in the states you mischief with their law they'll take everything off you that applies with us with this law now that we've got our company going my powerhouse group limited limited that's the creditor levy creditor all that side on John Key side to levy debtors including all you lot in Cook Street 77 Cook Street you're now levy debtors the whole lot of you everyone in there all your companies are now subjected to levy debtor instruments because you went against us the landowners the real landowners of this land will take you to court to challenge your title Okay, my battery's low now on the um, tablet, so I think we'll cut it there. Thank you very much, people. We'll see you later. Bye for now.